Hello everyone. So in this session, we will be discussing about outrange instruction. In the previous session, we discussed about the inrange instruction. So basically, this outrange instruction is totally the reverse of in inrange instruction. So whenever the input value is in the range of that particular range, okay. So suppose we have taken again two to eight, right? So whenever the values, current value will be in the range of these values, the output will be in the low state and whenever it is out of this range the output will be in the high state so whenever suppose you are taking 2 as a minimum value and 8 as a maximum value so until and unless it is in the range okay the output will be in the low state otherwise the output will be in the high state so in this session we will be seeing this out range instruction so let us move to the software okay so here all the text so let me create some tags first so the first tag will be again input pulse tag right input pulse okay and this is next one is reset tag and will be requiring an led that is q0.0 .0 will be the address okay and we will be requiring a memory double word md0 basically uh, current value for of the counter right so i am giving it as current value okay so what will be the data type that is double word okay and here we will be requiring memory double word md0 okay right now all these text will be taken in our logic so let us make the logic so the logic will be the same only the thing is we'll be using an outrange instruction here so again this block is required again one more block i will take and then the output right so here we'll be having i0.0 .0 as the address okay so this is the input pulse address and here we'll be requiring a ctu that is up counter and an output outrange instruction is required here right so out range right okay so it has been converted to the out, out range instruction and here we will be requiring an address q0.0 .0. okay so now we will be having a reset here okay so this is our reset and i am giving it as zero here okay now the current value of the counter is let us take it as uh, md0 right so this is our memory double word address the same address will be going to the counters value as well okay so basically again i'll take it here md0 right so in this way we have taken all the day so if you are able to observe we will be requiring to change the data type as well here so this is double integer okay and here it will be giving the minimum as well as the maximum so suppose i had told you right so 2 to 5 let us take okay so 2 this is our 2 and this is our 5 right so now the logic is ready let me download this one okay so let me download it first uh, i'll be going to the offline mode and i'll be downloading the logic after going to the online mode uh, online mode i will be monitoring the logic okay so this is how we have monitored the logic and uh, let me reset all the things so that we are in the initial state okay so basically now if you are able to observe we are in the reset right we have resetted the input right so here the current value is zero right so which is not in the range of two to five if you are able to observe the value current value of the counter is not in the range of two to five that's why the output is in the high state so it is basically an out out range instruction so the value current value is out of this range two to five it is not in the range of two to five that's why the output is in the high state right so now let me 
increase the value okay i am increasing the current value of the counter so whenever i am increasing so if you are able to observe when this value is equal to 2 right so it has now in the range now the current value is coming in the range that's why the output is in the lowest state this is how the out range instruction is working again if you are able to observe okay so i have given the fifth pulse right so still it is in the range now when you will be giving the sixth pulse that will be out of this range the output will be in the low state so let us increase now okay so uh, output will be in the high state see here if you are able to also the output again is in the high state okay so in this way this out range instruction is working okay